It's here. The August 2022's Grotto Up. Let's unbox this month's supplies and see what's inside. August theme, supply menu and prompt, scroller sticker, sweet treat, featured artist print, drawing paper, blending stump and stylus tools, Derwent eraser, Dedla 5B pencil, super creamy Sennelier oil pastels, including these bonus paper sheets. Let's do some swatching. I'm going to use the drawing paper for this. It's super smooth, crisp white, and you can use both sides. First up, oil pastels, and we'll start with the white. These highly pigmented artist grade oil pastels are made with top quality minerals and organic pigments. You really don't need to apply much pressure to get a rich color payoff. They're super creamy and smooth to work with. They can get a bit messy, but that's all part of the fun. Just a little something to bear in mind before you start, you might want to wear gloves. Sennelier reformulated oil pastels in 1949 at the request of Pablo Picasso. Picasso was looking for a medium with all the vibrancy and brilliance of oil paints minus the long drying time. And so what started off as a child supply was refined for the fine art. Next up, Stadler Lumograph 5B Pencil. This premium quality pencil is idea for sketches, studies and drafts. For those of you wondering, the more B's, the softer the pencil, so this 5B is softer than a 2B to work with and will produce a darker mark. Let's test this Derwent eraser. It's an ideal pairing for the 5B pencil, and as you can see, it smoothly removes darker and denser strokes of graphite. The double-ended blending stamp. Also known as a tortillon, this little tool can be used to help you create seamless transitions and blends. It also means you don't have to use your fingers, as oil pastels do tend to get a bit messy. The pointed end helps control your blends, keeping them smooth. Of course, the ends will pick up the pastel, but you can easily clean these with a nail file. Another fun tool to play with, the wooden stylus scratcher. This handy tool is great for creating texture into your artwork. Switch up direction and the ends of the stylus and the pressure you use to see what marks you can create. Easily wipe cream with a finger or a cloth. Maybe I should have taken my own advice and worn gloves. Let's try some tips from the zine. I will switch up the paper by using the pastel sheets provided by Sennelier. Made purposely for oil pastels, these sheets have more texture. First tip, stippling. This is where you use small choppy lines and strokes or dots onto your paper to create texture. There are additional colours for depth within your technique. For this second one, we're going to try stippling over a blended colour to see how they layer this way. We're going to use the blending stamp to blend this out for a nice smooth blend. Blending the underneath layer will also leave you with less paper visible. And then we'll stipple over the top exactly as we did before using the blue and the white. These pastels layer beautifully in both versions. Next we're going to try some Scraffito. This is where you use the wooden stylus scratcher to scratch onto the surface and reveal what's underneath. For example, the paper colour or a colour you've layered underneath in order to add finer details to your work. By using two or more colours underneath and blend them together, when you scratch it off it reveals a fun ombre effect. Maybe don't do what I did and actually clean your blending stump before you go ahead and start blending again. Using a darker colour over the top will create more contrast. Make sure you layer up real nice and thick, you don't want any of the paper showing. You can also use the pencil as a scratcher for this technique too. Keep it sharp for more precision. And there we have it, the August 2022 Scroller Box. Inspired by our featured artist Julie Avasar and her love for exploring the beauty of the great outdoors.